Florida Power and Light recently got the green light to launch its largest community solar program in the United States. It's called FPL Solar Together. It essentially doubles the community's solar landscape in the U.S. and is available to FPL customers to all they serve and in eight Northeast Florida counties, including Duval, St. John's, Clay, Baker, Columbia, and three other counties in the region. Stephen Hyman from FPNL joins us here on the morning show. So uh, it, it used to be you needed to buy, you know, rooftop panels, make a, a pricey investment in things. So is enrolling in this economical and practical? Yeah, Bruce. So, you know, FPL has been leading one of the largest solar expansions ever in the U.S. And um, we're helping propel Florida into that leadership position nationally for um, in terms of solar generation. And, and this program is just another way we're doing it. So FPL Solar Together going to be the largest community solar program offering um, in the United States will essentially double the current amount of community solar available in the United States. And it's going to allow tens of thousands of our customers to go solar. Ultimately, they can go 100% solar without the large upfront costs of having private systems, um, the, ability, the flexibility of, of installing, or not installing, but participating in solar generation, whether they rent their home, live in a condo, or maybe just don't have the financials to install those private systems up front. So it's another option for customers that want to go solar without the hassle of doing it alone. You know, living in Florida, you, you get a 95, 100 degree string of days. You get your electric bill, and, and there's a big surprise because you never know what your costs are going to be. When you use this program, there's a fixed subscription cost. So how does it work? That's right. So we fix the subscription cost, and, and when customers enroll, they'll be able to uh, choose the subscription amount that is right for them in one kilowatt increments. It's $6.76 per kilowatt. So you take a typical bill, which would be about a five kilowatt subscription, would be $33.80. By fixing that subscription charge, we can help our customers to know exactly what that's going to be on a monthly basis. Now on the other side, every month they're going to get a subscription credit that offsets that charge. In the first couple of years, that charge will be slightly more um, in you know about a dollar or so a month um, but over time that credit will ultimately sync up with that charge and overtake it therefore giving them all of their costs that they paid up front back and then leading to lower bills over time and the reality is that there are people who can't afford to pay their bills you know people who are in the low income bracket is this available to them Yes, you know, one of the innovative ways that, uh, that we had helped design this program to allow access to as many Floridians and as many FPL customers as possible was working with advocacy groups for, for clean energy. The Southern Alliance for Clean Energy and Vote Solar um, had helped us to incorporate a low-income aspect of this program where uh, next year that they'll be able to sign up if they fall within that federal threshold. Um, and start receiving those credits immediately from the get-go. So it's just another way that we're trying to make solar affordable for everybody without the cost of doing it alone. So FPNL has been building these solar in installations around the state, and I understand that there are actually that are, there are some that are going to be built here in Northeast Florida. Yeah, that's right. You know, today FPL operates 24 universal solar power plants across the state of Florida. 20. Um, we're building 20 more solar power plants to support this program. And uh, in fact, several of them will be right here in Northeast Florida uh, in counties of Baker County, Union, St. John's County, Clay County, and Nassau County. Um, you'll start to see those being developed and constructed over the course of the next several months, a couple of years. So that means benefit for customers, also mean jobs in the area for building those? Uh, yeah, look, every one of our solar projects are a benefit, not only to our customers, but they benefit the state as a whole and in the counties in which they're built. They lead to an increase in tax revenues, a boost to the economy, and they create jobs. Each solar plant creates about 200 to 250 jobs. And, you know, we work with our contractors to, local, to hire locally whenever possible. So it's a direct give back to these economies we're building these projects in. All right, so if you want to save some money on your electric bill and want some more information about FPL Solar Together or to sign up, you can go to fpl.com slash solar together. Hey, thanks for being here. Chris, thank you. Speaking about sunshine, I don't know if you're going to need the AC to get today. Let's check in with Rich and find out.